Peggy 3. With Football Manager 2013, you've got more control than ever before when dealing with players' contracts and transfers, with huge advances in these areas, adding a whole new level of realism to the game. Let's start by looking at when a manager changes club. In FM13, we've revamped the way this works and implemented a number of suitability checks, including whether the manager speaks the club's native language and whether or not the manager and club's playing philosophies are compatible. For example, if a chairman was known for wanting his team to entertain, they'd want to bring in someone who supports their attacking passing style rather than taking on a manager who likes to defend deep and play a long ball game. And the whole area of playing philosophy is crucial when a manager moves from one club to another. The board of your prospective club will let you know how they expect your team to play, but you can also argue for your own style and state what you want to bring to the club, whether that be attacking football, a focus on the youth system, or to spend big money on bringing in big names. Be careful though, as a disagreement over philosophy might cost you the chance of a new job. We've also made big changes to the transfer system, making player movements between the clubs and valuation of these players much more realistic. AI managers will now look even more for players who fit with their club's philosophy as well, meaning a manager preferring to let his team play one-touch football would look for high attributes in their decision-making, passing and vision, for example. This will make transfers within the game even more realistic. Another notable change in transfers is that selling clubs are now much better at negotiating deals. One popular exploit in the game in the past for bringing in new players was to spread the transfer fee over 48 months with no upfront payment. Whilst you can still spread the fee over that time, clubs are now much more likely to want a minimum upfront deposit based on the length of your monthly payments. Your board are also more stringent in these financially careful times, and your reputation will be taken into account when they come to sanction big money deals. If the board aren't expecting you to be at the club for four years, they're less likely to allow you to buy players using the four-year payment option. We've also added some details that allow you to go deeper into your incoming and outgoing transfers and loans. For example, there are new contract clauses to allow payments to a player if the club gets promoted or avoids relegation. You can also specify your minimum requirements when offering players out for loan. For example, you may request that your player receives first-team football and specify the position you want that player to play in. There's also more flexibility in how you can negotiate loan deals. If a manager can't afford the required wage contribution but does have some spare transfer budget, they can now choose to pay a higher monthly fee instead. On top of this, players will now request their loan to be terminated if they don't feel they're getting enough first-team football. Despite the addition of these new features, we've also taken steps to make the manager's life a little easier in the transfer market. One example of this is that you'll now receive notification when your shortlisted players have been transfer listed, so you can beat your rivals to their signature. A further example is the ability to make players available only to foreign clubs, so rather than the rejecting offer after offer from domestic club for players, you can specify for all your domestic bids to be rejected. And don't forget, you can also delegate all the transfer and all contract negotiations to a director of football if you have one but we've covered that subject in a separate video. Another improvement we've made is to scouting and the reports your scouts send to you. Players are now rated for each role they can play on the report card screen, so a player will have a different star rating for target man compared to poacher. This makes it a lot clearer to managers just how good a player is in a particular role they're looking for. In addition, Scouted players' star ratings are now shown on the player's overview screen in a mini report card panel, making it easy for the user to judge that player and make a quick decision if they want to make a bid. Just like in real life, the movement of both players and managers is something that you have to get right, and soon you'll have the chance to see just how good you are at this in Football Manager 2013.